Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today I come to you with, ow, with a kind of full face of makeup. I don't have it all done, and for once I took off my foundation lips before starting this video, which is really weird. Uh, really, what is wrong with me today? really rare because I usually never do that until I am completely done but it was looking crusty so I did it. So today's video is a little bit different. I am still going to be trying out some new makeup that I have never tried out before that was sent to me but um, like a lot of other people I am kind of a monthly subscription box junkie. I do the Play by Sephora. I do the Ipsy, um, Birch Box, Fit Fab Fun, and a new one that I had actually never heard of or um, seen any videos on. Actually contacted me and you know asked me if I wanted to do their box and to give you all a or 10% off if you decide to order this box. So I will put the link in the description box if you are interested in signing up for another monthly subscription box. And so far, I mean, I think it's pretty good. It is full size items and that is one thing that I do like about it. So the service is called Yes Oh Yes which I think is kind of cute, like Y-A-S. So um, I have, you know, kind of went to their website, looked at every say anything because I don't really want to promote anything that I personally don't like. I am quite blunt about things. I don't really sugarcoat anything for anybody, and sometimes that can kind of be an issue for me because I'm not... Most of the time, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, which I think is a good quality in somebody because if I don't look good in something or something don't look good, I don't want me going out and you telling me it looks good if it really doesn't. So, like I said, this is a yes, oh yes subscription box. Every month, you will get three to seven full-size products and, um, the box value, it says, is always $75 and above. It has new makeup brands, a few I had never heard of or used out of this box, which is one thing I do like. I like, you know, discovering new things I've never tried. So one month you might get three items. One month you might get seven items. This month I got four full-size items. The good thing, if you complete one year every single month of this subscription box, they will send you a free limited edition box with items worth $200 to $400. I think that's pretty neat. I don't, I'm not subscribed to any subscription service that offers anything like that. Like there's usually kind of no incentives. So I think it's good that they do give you some type of incentive for paying for this. It is a flat rate of $14.99 and their U.S. shipping rate is $3.99. But if you use the 10% off code, I think it ends up, the box ends up being like $10 and some odd cents. So I think that is good. Um, you will be charged at the first of every single month. Um, it, of course, renews every month unless you decide to cancel. You can cancel at any time. You will also, like other subscription services, get an email with a tracking number so you can track to see when it's going to be delivered and where it is at. The link in the description box for you to go to to say the 10% off. And I do want to include in here, if you do use that link that I provide to go and order this subscription box, it does help me. So I do want to make that very clear that it does, you know, help me out a little bit. It's not a whole lot, but it does help me out a little bit. So, in the mail, you will get this box with the cute, which mine's upside. 
mine is upside down. So you get the cute little sticker that says yes, oh yes, this was very well packaged, nothing came broke, messed up, and they do include a cute little card. And what I like about this, because there's a couple of subscription services that I get, you do to get a you do get a card, but some of it doesn't give you any information. It's just a card. And when I get products, I don't want to have to go on Google, look them up, see what they are, how much they are, how to use it, blah, 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 blah. I like to get a card with information on the back. So my monthly subscription box for four items totaled to $97.26 item is Mellow Treasure Chest Palette and the retail value of this palette is $27.99. Comes in, you know, a carton like this, gives you, you know, all the ingredients, your colors, all that good jazz. Um, this is uh, no animal testing done on it. It's paraben free. And oh my god, it's so cute. So this is a glitter packaging, but I love this packaging because you don't get glitter on your hands. So there it says treasure chest and mellow and you open it up and oh my little, it does come with a little plastic sleeve to protect it in a nice little cute mirror. And those are the eyeshadows and I really actually do like this palette. I like that this provided a yellow color that is not matte. It's glittery. So you get two, four, six, eight shimmer shades and four, you know, transition. So I like that it provides everything in one palette. And um, the next item, and I know I probably will not pronounce this right, but do say, do say, punk volumizer mascara. Oh, you know, box like this, all that jazz. This is a lengthening and volumizing mascara. And ooh, I do kind of like this packaging. It's neat with the little slant. Let's check out the wand. Ooh, it so it is a very thick wand. So we will see how well that works out for us. The next is by Chella. I have not heard of this brand. I have got the previous brand, a little mini um, sample eyeshadow in an Ipsy bag before, and that was actually the first time I'd ever heard of it. So this is a eyebrow highlighter pencil, and the retail value of this is $19.99, and it is ivory lace highlighter is what it says on here. So just cute little packaging, and there is the highlighter stick. The last item that I've got is Crown Brush Pro Blush Brush. I'm surprised I got that right. That was a mouthful. But this is $22.99. I have um, heard about crown brushes and crown makeup in the past, and that they are kind of compared to Morphe. But I have never actually tried anything out from Crown yet. My friend says that they're actually pretty good. And I love brushes with this little grip handle in the middle. I know Wet n Wild makes a lot of brushes like that. And I love that little handle. That is our June 2018 box. I okay, so now that I have primed my eyes and put down some powder just in case there is any fallout. Let's see, let's just start out. I'm gonna start out um, just putting down a base and I think I will go in with this nice little pearl color. It is pretty skin-like. Oh, there is a little bit of fallout, but only kinda when you tap the brush. There's not, you know, a lot distributing onto the palette really it's just kind of when you go to tap off the excess it's a very pigmented eyeshadow like i have to give it that like now i'm going to go in with a transition shade and i think i'm going to use this color called 
tiger eye and digging my brush into this and there's really not any fallout but when you tap there's fallout so as long as you don't tap onto the palette like I said you should be good so, okay so I do like this tiger eye as a transition shade I think that it looks very good this is normally a cool tone type color that I normally go for so all over lid color with the onyx that way that I can kind of leave the outer edge outer V a little bit darker the smoky quartz is also a very pretty color but it is more gray toned and I don't really have have more of like a maroony pink type with a brown going on so Pretty much all I did was put this darker color all over my lids and then I took a clean blending brush and just kind of brought it up more into the crease just to blend those colors together and give my crease a little bit more of a darker definition. And I think that I honestly need to swatch all eight of these shimmer shades because they are just so pretty and it's going to be so hard for me to pick one inner corner shade and I'm going to try to use this pencil as a highlight shade for my brow bone. These, even though, you know, swatches are not the great in the world, they don't really tell you how it's going to perform on your eye. It always performs normally differently on the hand, arm. Than it does on the eye that's just how it is but I do like to do swatches just to kind of get what color it is going to be the top shade is crystal and this goes first row by second row so we have crystal then we have topaz then we have amber which you know is kind of one of those shades that is bronzy it's very pretty then we have rose gold amethyst smoke topaz Oh gosh, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Um, Rodonite? Rodonite, I guess is how you would pronounce this color right here. It's more of a gray undertone with kind of some pinkish purple reflex in person. These colors are really beautiful. And then we have Garnet, which is a very maroon. But if I put these in the light, I mean, these are very, very pretty colors. So I just wanted you to be able to see. And I will go ahead while my hands are clean and swatch matte shades. So these, and of course, Garnet is the shade that is all over the lid. And the Smoky Quartz, I did not use. The Tiger Eye, I used as the... Um, transition shade and pearl which is very light and skin colored was the all over lid and crease shade that I kind of used to set that prime. I am going to use garnet just because let's see my romper does kind of have that maroon shade so I'm going to take a packing brush and I'm not going to put fix plus that is really pretty the only thing I don't like is the extreme amount of fallout from these shimmer shades with a packing brush. You will not get nearly this amount of fallout if you use your finger. Kind of change it up and put that on the lid because that is such a pretty color. So for inner corner highlight, since I do have some pink on my shirt, I am going to go in with this amethyst color to get this powder off my face. And thank goodness there is not much fallout at all. And what was there is sweeping away. I'm going to try this Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter. Very easy to apply with this, but there's no way I could leave my eye look like that at all so I am gonna have to take a clean 
get some clean, clean packing brush and just see if we can kind of go over this to, I think this would actually be a good base though. So let me try that out because I don't just want to crap all over it at the moment. So let me just take some of this crystal. We'll see how much better using the crystal shade and going over it. Yeah, and that will help this to stick better. There we go. There we go. This helps this to stick way better than what it probably would on the brow bone. So I do kind of like that as like a highlighting primer. A mascara one like this does intimidate me quite a bit because that is a lot bigger than like what I am used to using. I normally would never use a mascara one this big and I do kind of like the handle. It is interesting. It feels like because your finger kind of goes over this slot and it feels like it gives you a little bit better of a grip to work with. So I do think that's pretty good packaging but now we're going to see how well I can do with this on my lower lashes and my lashes period seeing something I don't like which is clumps which is why I keep this spoolie for my mascara because instead of applying more and more and more mascara to kind of get rid of those clumps it is better to use a spoolie that is specifically and you can get any spoolie it doesn't have to be expensive just to get rid of those clumps that has been the best thing that i figured out. this kind of did volumize my lashes just a tad but it did lengthen them as well so therefore i do like this mascara so crown pro blush brush um normally i don't use this type of blush brush normally my blush brush is more of an angled type brush but i'm going to give it a go because i did definitely hear um pretty good things it's a little bit stiffer than what i'm used to but hey so far this is like a really good brush i think so i'm going to blend this out a little bit so now i am back with the finished look i don't know what's going on with my hair but that's okay i pretty much love and or like everything in this month's subscription box so i'm really excited to see what this coming up month is going to bring um i should have it here in a couple weeks i'm pretty excited about that up and um just again another note if you are interested in subscribing to another subscription box one which i know i am i could probably get 15 20 a month and i would be so excited about that but if you are interested the link will be down in the description box you can click on that and i hope if you do get it that you all enjoy it as much as i do so i hope you all have a good day good night wherever you are i will see you all in my next video which i really do like it is kind of a full face of Pretty much full face of first impressions of some new products that have just recently came out and I've not seen a lot of videos about it so I'm pretty excited so I will see you all next time bye y'all